We just moved everything around, but she's used to sitting <laughs> on top. Well, that auction did not go planned like I wanted it to. Um, kind of sucks, but it's also a little funny too. I mean, I could see so much kids there just going up there and just trying to fake bid or just people being, you know, jerks about it. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, when I was young at one point, <laughs> I would have probably done the same. So I can't really get, be too upset about it, but it does kind of suck now because I wanted to make well, I wanted to do more auctions. I wanted to do them um, every uh, Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, right now, I'm really just considering if I should even do one on Thursday. LBK Pythons, uh, gentleman, um, also on Instagram, gentleman101, um, gave me a great idea, but he was talking about the Patreon account. One thing I, um, I never like to do those because I don't like asking for money. But he did bring up a really, really good idea, which you know I think I might do. That way, it's a lot easier instead of sending everyone an email for a private um, list, a uh, private auction. Um, he said the money I could donate it to charity, and I love, love charity. And you know, every month or whenever it happens, you know, every six months, you guys will see me doing it, and it will get real um, bidders to go there. Again, it was his idea. Again, thank you very much, and I really appreciate it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look into a little bit more, do like a Patreon account, and just for just for the live auctions we'll start it off once a week and the, the whole thing behind this is that i want to be able to bring in some like high-end stuff you know like really cool stuff I remember when i first started getting snakes i used to buy really really good snakes for a great deal and there's nothing wrong with getting a snake for a great great deal man a lot of people look at it and you know the front upon it you know what I, I really you know don't get it you know, people be like, oh, you're a, you're a snake flipper or this, this, and that. If I was a snake flipper, man, I would. that would be my number one job, let me tell you right now, because I work hell of a lot of hours, you know, working and, you know, maintaining my own businesses to, you know, become a snake flipper. So let's get that out of the way. And two, if you guys see some of the snakes these go for, trust me, I take a loss on some of these snakes. But then, you know, you make some on the other ones. But the thing is... You know, in a business aspect, you know, it, it draws more people to come in here and, and it allows people to come and see, you know, what I'm actually trying to do as far as my projects, you know, with my wife and my kids, you know, stuff that I'm going to be producing next season and the season before, getting some awesome stuff. So that's the whole you know, deal behind it, you know, as far as, you know, like making hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars doing like that, that's, you know, no. I wish, if I did, I'll tell you right now, I'd sell two of my businesses and focus on this 100%, but it's not what I want to do. Um, but I do want to continue these auctions. Like I said, I have a lot of hatchlings coming in, a lot. I mean, I have some Mojaves, I have some bananas, I have some pies, I have um, more albinos, albino pies. I mean, it's getting there. And then especially with this season coming up with all these females, you can just imagine all the snakes I'm going to be auctioning off. So, Again, I'm good thing I'm gonna do the Patreon, the Patreon account and see how that goes. If you guys are okay with it, please do me a big favor and comment down below. Comment down below and let me know if you guys would be okay with it. I would probably put it at the lowest dollar possible. Um, again, it'll just be for strictly, just for live auctions, that's it. No other promotions, no other giveaways, nothing like that. That's always gonna be my regular YouTube um, channel. And, and the, the Patreon account will be strictly, strictly um, for auctions, live auctions. So please let me know what you guys think um, and comment down below. And um, yeah, give me your thoughts on that. As you guys can see, it was a lot. It was a big cluster in there, and it was a little frustrating. But again, it was a little funny. But now we did get a package from Amazon, and I think it's the Inferno Roman Noodles Times Two Challenge Noodle Thingies. So let's see what it's all about. All right, guys. This is the box I was talking about. So we did order a couple things, so I'm not sure if this is gonna be the Inferno times two Roman noodles. I don't think so. Let's see if it is, it's gonna be fun. But we did order some cool coffee mugs to do uh, giveaways. Oh yeah, they're so really neat, guys. I can show you what they are though. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, <laughs> You'll have to tell them why you're doing that. Yeah, I'll tell them later. <laughs> Nope, you guys got lucky. Okay, these are all mugs. Your mugs live. I seriously got a little worried. I was 
Man, I wanted them so bad. Dang it. Oh yeah, but these all right here are coffee mugs. And we have this planned out for the giveaways on this spicy noodle challenge. Look at this one. How are Pretty coming? cool. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, this vlog is gonna be very short. I'll show you guys some more snakes. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna see uh, Tina's top three snakes after this, since we're not gonna burn our mouths. <laughs> I was looking forward to it. We've watched a couple of challenges, and I think it's gonna taste good. What about you? You think it's gonna taste good? What? The noodles. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. It's not gonna taste good. <laughs> Gonna taste yummy. Right, guys. I remember you guys, somebody was asking me about my rat room. So, again, for all you new people, this is. Oh, can you sit back? What are you drinking there? I'm nothing. I'm just helping you. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is my whole little rat setup. It doesn't feed all my snakes, but it does take care of a lot of my, uh, my little hatchlings. So,. You guys are about to see baby galore, right? Just so many lots babies and lots of babies. Out of nowhere, yeah. Just... Check this out. So we got this one with all these babies. And one of them's pregnant in there. So oh, not them. Oh, sorry. Trying to mark all of them out. We got more moms with more babies right there. This just literally just happened. We need to change the substrate right now. We're actually gonna, we actually just got them ready for down here. So just showing you guys real quick before we do that. Then we got these right here. Look at all that. It's a lot of babies in there. Okay. And here, this whole rack, check this out. Babies. Big babies. Lots of babies. Do you guys remember that one uh, Justin Kabelka um, vlog where he grabbed a little pup and he's all like, like they're like that and everyone giving him crap over it? <laughs> I wanted to do that, but. <laughs> you just did. Not really. These guys are so cool, man. Look at that. A lot of little babies. Mm -hmm. These are all pregnant, pregnant moms. Super Check pregnant. this out. One, two, three. They are just this dark one. the biggest bellies Four. ever. Yeah, they're, I mean, we're having babies after babies after babies. And then right here, we got these cool little, little puffs. I like them like this. I know, I feel so bad when we have to grab these ones around this size because Sometimes we'll just hold them, the kids will grab them. Yeah, I fall in love with them sometimes. Tina literally just got, um, look at her. But this is Rufus right here. She won't ever be a feeder. A I love her. But uh, Tina has this one that also just made it to the Garcia family. Bruno. And his name is Bruno. And he's in here. Watch. <laughs> he's cool, looks like he has like a little mohawk. He's like a punk rocker. So he is right there. So he is not gonna be, he's never gonna be a feeder. This is Bruno. See those little Bruno right there? Try to get him over here. Come here, bud. Don't fight me. He's a little shy. For a while he was in, she was, he was in Tina's pocket. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. You ever hear the expression, you have a mouse in your back pocket? That was a rat. Except he's a rat. <laughs> All right, guys, now we're gonna go check out Tina's top three snakes. Bye. We are about to see Tina's favorite, well, top three snakes. Yeah. I know one <laughs> for a fact which one it's gonna be, and it's, oh, I'll let her show you guys. I'll show one. All right. You don't need that tortoise. No, you don't. Oh, no, we don't. Told you. We just moved everything around, so she used to see it on top. Gosh. And what kind of snake is it? Oh, it's a spot 
flat nose leopard head clown. I saw you like in the letter to remember what it was. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> well, had to. Hey, so tell us. It's so many different jeans. Tell us what you like about it. Um, I don't know. When we first got it, um, we didn't really have like a really crazy collection at first, and so this was really that was one of our top. Yeah, that was like of high quality and just really really different looking. So. The pattern, of course, is just beautiful and Okay, let me ask you this. Color. What is this thing? What could this make? And then we're <laughs> shooting for next season. Batman. Yes. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, well, that's number one. This is one. Should, uh, man, you, guys should, you know what? I think I have some um, videos of her when she was little when oh we first got god, her. Oh my god, yeah, she was so small. All right, next snake. I know which one I want to take for last, but we just got a new one in, and um, oh, I know which one. It's been I just I always come in and look at it, so it's so pretty to me. She named it Elsa. <laughs> you get it? It's a Anyone? Someone will get it. <laughs> Somebody's gonna sing it. Yeah. For sure. Okay. I hope it was a uh, bright. I hope Brian Cusco's uh, Eli were singing. Oh my God! Go! <laughs> All right. So what's your next name? The lavender snow. The what? The lavender snow. The lavender snow. It's a female. And her name is Elsa. And she just shed a little couple days ago. No, that's that's that really good. good light. Yeah, okay. we could bring up here a little bit more, but yeah, it's just too bright for that. She's so pretty to me. Like, I don't know, different from everything we have. Yeah, so she's pretty just her. like you. Yeah, I'm trying to get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And this one. Wow. Damn, turtle, look at them expensive snakes. Well, we've got some big plans for him. We can get him up to weight, and if he can, he can produce some blood for us. All right, let's go a little darker here. There you go, perfect. And what is this? This is super gravel. And he for sure is super. Look at him. You know what? I'm so curious. Let's weigh him. Last time he was like 320 grams. I'm curious to see what he's gonna be at right now. Let's see. I'm just trying to get him up to like 600 now. I'll be so happy. Look at that. I got that for um, Father's Day like four years ago. He's has a little weight, but Very little. <laughs> I don't think he's going to make it. <laughs> but these are my three. Nice, beautiful snake turtle. Thank you. All right, guys, make sure you guys comment down below and let us know what you guys think of Tina's favorite snake. Um, and I hope you guys like the vlog again. Thank you guys very much, man. We're getting new subscribers and a lot of cool stuff in the making. Again, the auction didn't go well, but we have that good idea I talked about, and I think that's where we're going to go about it. But until next time, guys. But, oh, tomorrow is the spicy Roman. Ramen. Not Roman, it's ramen. Robin, Rob, Robin. <laughs> it's that fire noodle. Spicy Korean uh, noodle challenge. Yes. Tomorrow. You know what? We just tried, like, um, I think it's the same brand, but it's like the regular flavor, I guess. The not spicy flavor, and they're pretty good. So yeah, I'm they're really good. I'm really excited to taste them. Yeah, so am I. Even though it's like crazy hot. But yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you very much. I love Bye. her. Bye. <laughs> Bye.